Emergency talks in Paris, an effort to de-escalate a military situation with Russia that many Ukrainians fear could spiral into war. Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel joined her French and Ukrainian counterparts online. Russia's recent deployment of what's estimated to be 100,000 troops, along with heavy weaponry, to its borders with Ukraine has caused alarm across Europe and among NATO allies. We have so warm and strong relations between Ukraine and France and then Germany. But I said very directly and very, very honestly that we, we need now to move very quick. Sorry, I understand that it's our problem, but I, but I think that it's not only our problem, that is the safety of Europe. Russia, the fourth member of the so-called Normandy format that has for seven years been trying to negotiate a political solution to the conflict in eastern Ukraine, was not invited to the meeting in Paris. Moscow says its troop deployment is a military exercise and poses no threat, but has warned it will respond to what it describes as Ukrainian provocation. 14,000 people have been killed and a million forced to flee their homes since the conflict began in 2014. Both sides accuse each other of regularly violating a ceasefire that has barely held since it was signed seven years ago. Germany and France have been accused of wavering on how to confront Russia and how much support to give Ukraine. Ukraine's foreign minister last week called Russia's troop deployment an open threat of war and destruction of his country. More Ukrainian soldiers have been killed since the beginning of this year than throughout 2020. In Kiev, Ukraine's deputy foreign minister told Al Jazeera Russia is using the threat of violence to test NATO and the new U.S. administration. Is Russia ready to settle the conflict? That is the question, and the basic one. It's not about us or occupied territories, it's about Russia. Russia is not interested in having result-oriented approaches in, in these negotiations. They are only pushing for the process by itself to control the situation. People in the Ukrainian capital are nervous. Anything could happen. You can expect anything from Putin. If there is a war, everyone will defend our land. We will all be defending our country. I'm not a fortune teller, but of course I don't want war. Everything is possible from Russia. It's the aggressor. They are capable of anything and nothing good will come of it. Ukraine's president says he is ready to hold talks with Russia, France and Germany in order to calm the situation on the border. In a statement released after the Paris meeting, France and Germany yet again urged Russia to withdraw its forces. But despite the diplomatic pressure, there is no sign Russian President Vladimir Putin is ready to do that yet. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Kiev.